Hey, welcome back. Jason Moss here again. And in the last video, we set up a WPX hosting account. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on your domain in your WPX hosting account. So let me drop down here real quick and let's get started. So we are inside of our new WPX hosting account. And last night I showed you that this was pending. Um, let me tell you why that was. It was because uh, when I went through the checkout process, I actually did not um, check out fully. I, I thought I had paid, but I didn't. So you go through the process, but once you're in here, you need to go over to the invoices section and you'll see it used to say unpaid. So then you click on that invoice and then you pay um, with PayPal. You can do either a subscription or a one-time payment. If you do the one time then you have to just keep paying it every single month of course okay uh, so that is all done though everything is good to go once you get the invoice paid you will see this it'll say active okay and it'll say like manage all sites in this account so let's get started real quick um, you just hop in here you can go to your dashboard it's gonna pull this up um, manage all sites in this account once you're in here, you're going to see a page like this with your domain, of course. All right. And you can see some of the things are blurred out right now. Um, you know, that's just for privacy reasons. But the first thing you're going to want to do and that you have to do is you have to grab your name servers. Now, every account's going to have different name servers. Like you might see something different here. Um, that's perfectly fine and normal. Okay. So you're going to want to copy this first name server. All right, and then you're going to go over to where your domain is registered. Now, if you registered your domain with WPX, it's going to be um, a simpler process because it's you won't even have to do this because it's all you registered it with WPX. They change it for you automatically. OK, uh, but my domain is registered with Namecheap. So and this goes for if you have it with Namecheap or GoDaddy or anybody else. OK, uh, since I have it with Namecheap. I'm going to go to my account here and you can see here is my domain jwmoss.com. I'm going to click on manage. And once this pulls up, then I'm going to enter in those name servers. All right. And here we go. Um, you come down to name servers. Right now it is on Namecheaps. Uh, they're hosting it at the moment because there's nothing on this website. So you click on here, click on custom DNS. You have name server one and two. Drop in name server one that you just copied. I always just paste the second one in there and change this because the other one was 45. Go back, double check that. Yeah, NS45. Okay, so there we go. Make sure you hit the little check mark, which is the save, and you are good to go on your registrar side of things. Okay and we can head back over okay there saved says it could take up to 48 hours to take effect with propagation yes that is correct but usually it takes you know just a few minutes maybe an hour or so okay but once you have those name servers changed come back here and we're going to go to websites okay and you can see this account only has five websites allowed on it so this is number one all right, the first thing we're going to do is install WordPress, install WP. Very simple. You just click the button. Uh, you don't have to mess with any of the cPanel stuff. That's the best thing about WPX hosting. They don't have cPanel. It's their own custom system, which makes it much easier. All right, you can see it looks like you don't have any existing installs under this domain. So just go ahead and click install WordPress. All right, it's going to pull up some information. And let's see here. Let's make sure on some of this. Yeah, your database, you, you don't need to change anything there. You can just use the default um, admin email. That's probably going to be default for everybody unless you do want to change it. The username, you are going to want to change that. Um, so you can change it to whatever you want. And then your password, obviously you want to make that. 
All right, and the next thing you do, once you have your password and your admin um, entered in there, you just go ahead and click on Deploy WordPress. Okay, and it is finished. This pops up. It took all of a minute there. It gives you your admin user that you created and then the password, which I hit Generate Password on their little form, so it just generated me a password here. Make sure to copy that, of course. All right, you can X out of that. We can go to the website. Let's check something here. Okay, so it's not ready at the moment. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll resume when it is ready. All right, that didn't take long at all. You can see if you come over to jwmoss.com, the website is up. This is just the standard uh, WordPress default you know thing that they put up there on a new installation um, you can see that it is not secure um, when I install this it did the SSL option automatically for me so I'm guessing that that's just taking a little bit of time um, sometimes that SSL certificate takes a few minutes to propagate fully um, sometimes if I refresh it here it'll be secure um, but everything's good to go. We can log into this now. And let's see, I was put this information in. Make sure everything is correct. Okay, perfect. So everything is logged in. All right, guys, it's been just a few minutes and the site is now secure. Um, I checked with their support, uh, which I'll show you in just a second. And they said it would take a few minutes to propagate fully, like I mentioned. But you can see up here in the uh, the URL bar, it is now secure. You can click on it. Connection is secure. So that was done automatically. I don't know many other hosts that install an SSL for you automatically. Um, and a lot of them don't even do it for free. Okay, this is all for free. It's all included, uh, which is awesome. But here's the thing. I was in here looking around. And I noticed, um, because WPX is all about speed, all right, they, they, you know, label themselves as like the fastest host out there. That's one of the reasons I love them. But if you look, they installed a, this was automatic. They installed the W3 Total Cache plugin automatically. So I was curious, did they, uh, you know, add in some settings in there automatically? So I checked with their... Um, their support and this is where WPX stands apart from every everybody else by far okay check this out so they had a little chat window here and they always say they're online it's 24 hours okay so I'm logged into my account so there's nothing else I have to do he says hi Jason how can I help you and guys look at the timestamps here okay Look at the timestamps and how much time passes, all right? I took a second to reply. I asked him a question if that cache plugin automatically is configured because there's a lot of settings in that cache plugin. He said you have to configure it. Um, it's not automatic, and he gave me this link. So I clicked over onto this link, and it's like super simple to do. They, they lay it out for you very easy. There's one thing that you have to install, and you just have to hit the import button on the plugin. I've actually done it manually, and it was super simple. It took me all of a minute, okay? But look what WPX does, okay? Let me close that. I don't even prompt him for this, all right? He gives me the link, and then he says you can download the settings and import it. Of course, we can always assist you with this, okay? If you guys have never had a host before, like with any other websites, um, you won't realize how awesome this is, okay? Because no other host, website host, goes out of their way to help you with things like this, all right? It's awesome. So I said, so you can install the settings for me? He said, sure, Jason. All I need is the WP admin credentials, you know, the, the username and the password. So I supplied that for him there. All right, he said, thank you, let me check, please. Settings are success successfully imported, all right? This was not even a minute. It wasn't even 30 seconds, 11.54, 11.55, and boom, he's done, 
Okay, just like that. All right, and then of course I asked him about the SSL and he said it would just take a minute or so, which it did. Um, but that is why I love WPX. They will go out of their way to help you with anything on your website. Okay, they're, they're not gonna design or build your website, of course, but anything technical, they're going to help you with things like that, okay? They do things like um, when you need to change records on your domain, if you know what that is, like if you get like a G Suite account or something like that, you have to put all these different records in your domain. Um, and they will do it all for you. No other host does that. And no other host makes it easy to talk to support. You have to do like uh, submit support tickets and wait for people to call you and stupid stuff like that. With WPX, it's one little chat window and boom, you're chatting with them literally within 20 to 30 seconds. It's it's amazing. But everything is set up on the domain. Um, WordPress is installed. Everything's good to go. You are ready to start building your website. But hope this all makes sense. Hope it uh, is helpful to you and you can see why WPX is awesome. If you have questions or comments below, uh, just leave it and I will get them answered for you. But I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.